Hi, I am Mukul Chaudhary and I am a developer working on Simulink solutions for TIC2000 processors. Embedded Coder Support Package for TIC2000 processors enable you to generate optimized code, create real-time executable and download it to TIC2000 development boards. You can also run your algorithm in external mode and do back-to-back -back testing using PIL or SIL workflow. In this video, I would like to present the use of TIC2000 processors to verify the numerical equivalence of the simulation and code generation results as required by the ISO 26262 or DO178 PIL certification. For this, I am going to use the ISO 26262 project shipped as part of the IEC certification kit along with F283790 launchpad. Type ISO 26262 case study start in the MATLAB command window. Go to the live editor. It shows the highway lane following project and shows the use of Simulink to apply model-based design workflow at various stage of the ISO 26262 project. Click on the link functional verification using mill simulation. It takes you to the link for the test file of controller mode selector. Controller mode selector is a subsystem of the highway lane following model for which we are going to run our pill and sill workflow. Before running the test, we need to configure the model for the target on which the generated code would execute. Go to this arrow and click on it to open the model. Under Modeling tab, click on Model Settings to open the config set. This uses a reference config set. Click on the gear button to have an editable copy. In the Hardware Implementation tab, you find the list of TI hardware boards that we are currently supporting. Select TI Delfino F283790 Launchpad. As part of hardware selection, some settings are done automatically. Like Support Long Long is checked. In the Optimization tab, Remove Root Level IO0 Initialization is unchecked. Maximum stack size is selected depending upon the processor, which is 1024 in this case. In the interface tab, TI-C28X library is used to replace the math functions with TI-optimized functions. In math and data type, simulation behavior is changed to sing plus to zero and default for underspecified data type is changed to single. Next, ensure that the serial port required during serial communication for PIL should match the COM port in the device manager for the target hardware connected to your system. Here we see that the COM9 is the matching COM port. Also ensure that the enable portable word sizes is checked in the verification tab under code generation in config set. This note, this setting is required only for software in the loop method. You must ensure that your model does not use any double data type because all targets from TI except F2838X is either FPU32 or fixed point and TI compiler in COF format interprets double data type as 32-bit float. The inputs to the subsystem has a data type of acceleration D type which has a value of double by default. In order to change it to single, go to the modeling, model explorer and change the value of acceleration D type to single. Once you make this change, you are ready to run your model in SIL or PIL mode. Go to the SIL PIL app and change the SIL PIL mode to software in the loop and click on run verification. A software in the loop simulation compiles generated source code and executes it as a separate process on the host computer. It compares the normal simulation results with the SIL simulation results. In this way, we can test the numerical equivalence of the model and the generated code. In order to qualify the above method, let us now run a test case on the same model. In the test tab, click on Add Test Harness. It creates a test harness with the top model as model reference with a set of inputs and outputs. Now, in the Harness tab, select the test harness that you have recently created. Also ensure that the inputs do not use any double data type. Select Required Input Data.mat file and click on the Edit button. In the signal editor window that appears, change the data type of the variables that use double data type, for example, acceleration and deacceleration. Once you make this change, go to the signal editor and save the changes. Also ensure that the baseline data with which the results are going to be compared with do not use any double data type. Next, in the simulation settings and release overrides, change the simulation mode to the software in the loop. Next, in the test browser, right click and run the test. We find that the tests have passed the baseline criteria. However, the coverage is not 100%. In the coverage report, we find the expression that has been covered, that is the saturation block. Moreover, the entire range of expression has not been exercised. In order to enhance coverage, let us now run the second set of tests. After ensuring the same set of conditions for the second set of tests, let us now run it. We find that the second set of tests have also passed with 100% code coverage. Next, let us run the same model in PIL mode. For that, go to the SIL PIL tab and change the SIL PIL mode to processor in the loop and click on run verification. It will generate code for the top model and deploy it on hardware. It will compare the results that is obtained from the hardware through serial communication with the simulation results. In this way, we can test the equivalence of the target object code and the model. Next, 
let us run the same set of test cases which we had run for SIL in the PIL mode. In order to do that, come to the test manager and change the simulation mode to PIL and then run the requirement test and interface test. We see that both the tests have passed similar to the SIL mode. It is important to note here that running the same set of tests in SIL and PIL mode is a form of back to back testing. Successfully passing of these tests ensure numerical equivalence of the model and target object code. Next, I present the comparison report between the model.c file for SIL and PIL. We see they are identical without any differences. Similarly, there are no differences in model.h file. Another important point is that there are no hardware related code in the model.c and model.h file. This is how we can use TIC2000 processors for PIL certification activities. Thank you for listening.